to the rest of the members and to our visitors for this afternoon. Uh, uh, members of uh, from the Avoidis, but they're not really avoidis now. Uh, they're from the, the uh, yeah. So anyway, Marina Habon mo, ma'am, uh, sir. Um, I am board member at the Melissa Badesa po of the second district of Albay. So I just have few questions, but before I actually uh, go to that specific questions, I, I just want to be clear on what is really the purpose of the presentation po, sir? I, I want to be guided bago ako magtanong ng magtanong. What is really the purpose of the presentation aside from what you mentioned that uh, you want to introduce yourself? <laughs> well, ma'am, sorry, but that's just basically it po. Um, kasi what, what, what happens in Tiwi, parang, okay, with the LGU knows we are AFI, pero what we have is parang avoid this power yung makikita natin sa mga signs is avoid this power now. And there are a lot of um, inquiries from our part na narinig namin that they don't know what is happening. Kasi before, di ba, napokor po ang nag-ooperate ng TV Geothermal. Now, we have to give na rin parang um, and this information to the public that this is not anymore napokor. Uh, we are already avoid this power and you know we are doing our best to make the facility better and make it grow. Uh, okay, so thank you for that clarification, ma'am. Ano, akala ko magtatanong na talaga kami ng very detailed uh, question, specifically with what is the uh, current situation of the electricity, as you, of course you all know, no? Um, however, aside from the fact that uh, you are introducing, making making it clear who you are as a company, well, nice to nice to meet you, Poma. But sabi ko nga, but you've been there for <laughs> for how many years now? And uh, um, this is the only time that uh, sabi mo nga, ngayon lang tayo nagkaroon ng opportunity to um, converse, you know, regarding the company. Um, I am more interested, ma'am, if it's okay with you to ask this question. Um, considering the, the current situation po of Albay, particularly the Aleco, no? the distributor here in Albay, um, is there any way that your company can help out um, in providing solution to the current situation as regards electricity in general, ma'am. Do you have anything in mind that you can provide as a solution to help out? Okay. So we have in the power generation, po, ano, so I believe, attorney, that uh, everyone here, or uh, just to give a quick background na rin about the EPIRA law. Okay. So, so for the EPIRA, uh, iwahiwalay po yung ating mga um, units when it comes to electricity. So we have the generation, we have the transmission, and the distribution, and then the last part is the consumers. So on our end, uh, the government is mandating us to uh, supply the re a reliable and safe amount of electricity to the grid, for which Sir Joe has always been pressured to do. Kasi meron silang may maintain po na megawatts na kailangan isupply sa grid. Ngayon, here on Albay, ako, na, nakikita ko ma'am yung problema nyo because Joyce and Al, sometimes they are working from home and during meetings, nawawala talaga sila. And brown out, biglang mga brown out. And the brown out is lasting for quite a long time. So, ayan, so nawawala sila sa meeting. So sabi ko, well, well, same because I'm from Batangas and I work with Batangas. So this is the same problem that we have. And the thing is, I mentioned earlier that we have also a distribution business. Now while I cannot commit <laughs> that we can enter Albay, it's basically something that you could, you know, we, all of us, can look up into, into the future. It's something that we cannot do now. Yeah, yeah. So I understand.
understand where you're coming from, ma'am. So because of the uh, the regulation which prohibits the direct connection no, from the grid to probably to our distribution lines here in Albay, that's why you cannot give us the the something somewhat a good news that we want to hear as of now. However, I don't know if this is true, ma'am. Um, despite the Ibira law that is actually uh, still um, existing, no? Um, I don't know if this is true, that in Sarsogon, uh, particularly in Batman, um, they were able to source out no, from the, the Batman to Thermal itself. So I don't know if this is true, if this is 100% or 50%. But uh, some are saying na meron pong nakakakuha yung Sureko, di ba, Ama, no? Uh, Sureko, nakakakuha po sila ng, ng, ng supply direct from the black man. So, kung is it sabi ko possible if kung meron talaga tayong ipira doon, how is it possible? How, how is it true that source of gold is able to get from Sureko at hindi natin kaya gawin? So, yun lang yung iniisip namin even before pa, na why not, I, um, aside from the fact of we are been before asking for the amendment of the Tipira law, to allow a direct uh, line, uh, kukuha directly from the geothermal where it, this is located, like in Albay, kung pwede sana sa tuwi, pwede na kami makakuha. Because as, aside from that concern, no, yung, yung supply, yung yung rate nagmamahal kasi babiyahe pa ng Manila pabalik dito so imagine mo yung gastos na yon yung nawawala na electricity na binabayaran ng mga consumers and so on and so forth no plus yung weak voltage pa na hindi naman ako um, I actually ma'am nagsusukat kami sa bahay so most of it mga 170 180 lang yung binibigay which yung mga ating appliances is 220 kaya madalas po nasisira yung mga appliances because of that so i am interested to know if it that would be possible or kung maano or if there are places na who do that kind of uh, agreement or arrangement with their local geothermals no kasi i don't think na um, it should stop from there Na, na dito yung electricity nagbibigay kami sa buong Pilipinas pero ang problema namin dito sa Albay hindi namin masolusyonan yung yung source of electricity kulang yung supply at ang baba pa ng voltage nag, nag nawawalan kami ma'am ng electricity minsan buong araw na po eh sa sobrang wala kaming ilaw minsan nasa sanay na lang but it shouldn't be the case kasi if you go to other islands, 30 minutes, 1 hour, ang haba na nun sa kanila, kami po, yung oras binibilang namin halos buong araw. So, parang ano naman po, kaya tinatawag po namin ang Committee on uh, Energy sa Sangguni ang Pandalawigan na to look into... <laughs> but, you know, seriously, is there anything that... Uh, we can do about it or if you have um, some information or knowledge now how we can go about it okay so first po ano um working in a distribution that when i work in a distribution utility in batete ang nangyayari po kasi dyan is yung kuryente is comes through bidding so there are several generation companies na magbibid so this generation companies comes from everywhere north Tagas, from Bicol. And so, this distribution company, sila na po yung nag-decide whether or not kung saan po sila pupuha ng supply nila. And then, the second one, meron po tayong tinatawag po kasi ba yung, yung direct na pupuha sa power plant, yung po tinatawag natin na RES or RES. Uh, ito po ay a retail electricity supplier. Meron, kung meron po tayong, halimbawa, isang hotel, mall, for example, an SM, for example, who is consuming, uh, yung malaki po yung consumption nila, pwede po silang direct na kumuha sa isang power plant. So, ang tawag po daw, like, retail electricity supply. So, pwede po yun. So, if the, halimbawa po, ang um, uh, sanguni ang panlalawigan, ang building ng Kapitolyo has this amount of 
consumption, pwede po nilang uh, i-explore yung maging resident or kumanap sila ng retail electricity supplier direct na po iyon sa power plant. Yun na. And ano pa ba? Ano pa bang na-mention, di ba? <laughs> madam, madam? Yes. What's that explanation, madam? I think uh, we, are, we are serving the people of Alpay. Yes. If, if that is directly yung mga malalaking mall dyan, directly makakabili, sila lang nakikinabang. What about the people of Alpay? Hindi man eh. Wala mang kwerta yun. Hindi man mag-spill yun ang Alpayan. I understand. Pero yun nga po, uh, the cover consumers, sila po ay talagang nakakabit sa ating distribution ng ating uh, As much as possible. When I work po in Badile, that is... Um, a problem. That was a problem na mayroong mga area doon, malalaking subdivision na low voltage. Alam niyo po ang problema, kulang sa transformers yung linya. So, basically, yung reliability lang din po ng linya, pwede po natin, you know, ma-open up sa ating distribution utility for which uh, hindi ko pa rin po sila kilala. And it's something that, you know, we could you know, uh, ma-open up po sa kanila. Pero yun po yung kasi patag, kasi kasi sa Batilan. Yun po, may mga low voltage areas po dyan and kulang sila sa transformers. So yun lang po. <laughs> I, I'm just speaking on based on experience lang naman po. Thank, thank you, Miss Wendy. Thank you, Miss Wendy. Hindi natin kaya kasulbihan ng dito. Miss Wendy, Madam Chair, with the with your permission, I would I like now to ask to recognize, uh, although our house rules are suspended, uh, there would, there's one more who likes to ask a few queries, a uh, board member. Yes, uh, actually. Uh, but, but before I, ano, they are power generators, so they have really no on asking these questions about the di district di distribution utility. Uh, it's the IPIRA. It's the IPIRA law. Where, where I keep on explaining this before. So, uh, uh, they distribution, but not here in Albay. National grid. So, I, I, so, Madam Chair, with your permission, may we recognize uh, actually, board member uh, Vince? Thank you, Mr. Floor Leader. Actually, uh, almost all my question was <laughs> asked by uh, board member Melissa, especially yung situation sa Wakman. And uh, they could like, actually ko na, na if, if, uh, ano so simbag nito, if that is true, kung nagigibo po ito kang Wakman sa suray ko. <laughs> Do you have any knowledge po? Yeah, uh, I've been to Wakman for a visit, pero wala ako nakita na lang po. Kasi, uh, so like it is not, it is not. I think that's not even possible uh, to make it directly to the point. First of all, we have, as generators, we are uh, mandated by PNR not to commit to power supply. And there's one provision there in the PNR. If you want to be connected, be ex mesa or passive zone. So that's the only, uh, that's the, the load you can get. Uh, the big load, uh, you can receive it.
For us, we have also, just to add that we have a uh, we have one of our interest. We could also be also contributing as a part of the from our generated or our uh, our collectibles in Kato is being mandated to be put in the uh, improvement of the electric power. But that's not enough. So we need to have also those uh, communities without power. I'm hoping that Avoidis is here to help uh, not only do business but help the situation of Albay. Uh, my second question is, do you bid po sa, sa pag-sell ng kuryente? Nagpapasok po, nagpaparticipate po ba kayo sa, sa Alego? Uh, sorry, hindi po. No? Uh, what we're, there's a, uh, there's what we call WESEL, no? inclusive in this, this part market. So our all of our power generated from our plus goes to direct, directly to US. So we send it directly on the to US. We send it to the market. So that's full safe electricity. So we, we send all those power market. And then from then on, they will manage the distribution. Yeah. Uh, regarding that stock market, actually, only a percentage of electricity. Uh, buying sa San Miguel. But uh, mostly of the power will be bought in the stock market. Kaya medyo nagmamahal. Tama po ba? Uh, paano po nakapasok yung San Miguel? Yung ako it is hindi. Those are ano yung uh, when I was saying a while ago that may structure yung detail no? I'm just asking, bakit yung abortis hindi nakakapasok? Because you, actually, uh, sir, uh, I'm concerned. You're doing business here in Albay. And we are also hoping, because andito yung planta nyo, and uh, I hope na pumasok din kayo sa Aleko with a lesser price and a higher voltage. Pwedeng ibenta sa Aleko. Kasi kung hihintayin po natin ma matapos ang franchise ng Aleko, ilang taon po yan, it will... Albayanos suffer that ayaw na po nang maghintay ng sobrang tagal. Huwag na natin hintayin mag, ano yung Aleko, mag-expire. If it is possible na makapasok din yung Tavoitis and they can also sell some uh, power, para po mabawasan natin yung kulang na minibili sa stock, spot market. Sir, gusto namin bilhin kami. Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, 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 you're here in in the leaders of Albay, yeah. we will not wait for that uh, mag-expire yung al Alego. Uh, it's yeah. not reasonable for me po, tabi, uh, yeah. Wang And it's quite insulting because it's a people's cooperative. Yes, no? yes sir, yes sir. Um, ang sa akin po, uh, what we want, we, we, we uh, yung closing yung franchise agreement ni Cuba, ni Alego, no? we're not actually waiting for that. No? Kasi kami naman po, nasa power generation po, when it comes to the selling, ito pa rin pong business unit namin yung naghahandle nun. So, what we basically do is to make electricity. Now, yun pong uh, nabanggit po ninyo, paano na po nakuha ni Alego kay San Miguel and all and then the wholesale, uh, the wholesale spot electricity market. Ang ano po kasi doon, sir, is di ba may bidding? May bidding po tayo. So, siguro po Hindi mas pinigil. Hindi sa bidding. Masali po kami lagi. Sina po yung Sila po, ang, ang nangyayari po dito, ang mga distribution utilities, sumusulat sila sa mga power generation companies. Now, we want you to take part in the bidding. We will be buying this kind, this amount of megawatts from you. So, once they have a letter from us, our sales team, sila na po yung bahalang makipag-usap kay Alemo for that, and then they will have a bidding. Now, it is different. Meron po tayong mga power plants that is using coal. No. So, ito po yung mga traditional natin. So, kami naman po, renewable. Per hour, sa DOE, kailangan daw po ang isang distribution utility ay gumagamit ng at least 10% or 20% kailangan ay renewable. Yun. 
So, meron pong galing sa coal. Ang, ang marami pong generation natin dito sa Pilipinas galing po sa coal or LNG. So, sila po yung mas mura. Sila yung, although hindi sila ganun ka-environmentally friendly, pero sila po yung mas reliable kasi yung fuel po nito ay readily available. Ang geothermal power plant po, every time na umuulan dyan, <laughs> medyo mababawasan ang steam. It's not every day that we have steam. So, hindi mo masasabi na mga makakaya niya, no? Ilang lang po ang geothermal? 180? Ilang, ilang lang po ang ating megawatts dito? 120 megawatts. Galing po ako sa isang LNG power plant. And it's 1,200 megawatts. So, doon po kumuha big bulk na nasa linya natin ng kuryente, masasabi pa natin na hindi siya clean energy. Si Avoidis po, or si Amri, we are, the promise is that we will deliver clean energy. So, if Aleko would want to buy from us, um, they would have given us that letter of intent that they would want to buy. And then our sales team would be there naman to support. Yes, actually, Mr. Mas gusto ko magtawag si Engineer because the question was very technical. Lalo na, I, I believe that uh, 117 uh, megawatt is uh, sustainable po yan. Uh, I think it can power uh, and buy. Uh, so more than pa yan, more than pa yan, even sabi na mahal or ano. And ang geothermal kasi, ano yan eh. Uh, sustainable eh. Uh, mas sustainable yan compared sa ibang uh, source of power. But uh, nevertheless, uh, na, na daw ko man, I, I've heard the reason kung nga why, why the group of Avoid is here. Siguro sa proper venue na lang tabi, sir. So, mga questions na technical. Uh, ito, man, ito man sa nang apot ko. But uh, hopefully po, uh, next time, maybe later on, uh, solutions ang ma-offer ng avoidis regarding sa dinner. Siguro mag-question may solution ang avoidis. I think mas maganda yung pag-usapan po. Okay. Thank you very much. Hello. Thank you, Madam Chair and our special guest. Thank you very much. Thank you for your candidness and your uh, graciousness in answering some of those questions that uh, although I know na quite uh, difficult for your side as a power generator. Thank you very much pa rin for uh, trying your best to answer some of the queries. We thank you talaga. Uh, uh, I presume uh, we can all continue this with your some of the board members still have a few more questions siguro to enlighten them but for this during a session uh, we have to resume session already. Uh, I remember before uh, 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 when I was still in the I, I filed a resolution requesting you to do some maybe also I think I met Joe before I met you before sir uh, so uh, maybe later with your invitation we can post a few more questions just for conversation sake you know to have some uh, conversations and uh, so Madam Chair with your permission uh, May I now uh, thank the, our guests and resume uh, house rules to continue with session, Madam Chair. So, and uh, if you're, I think you're still eating, but uh, uh, I saw you sweating already. Eh, with some. <laughs> eh, parang pinawisang ka na dyan, ha? Konti lang, konti lang. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I saw na kaya kaya naman uh, Miss Wendy and uh, Sir Joe, thank you, Ma'am Ao, thank you, Joyce, thank you for your uh, ano talaga answering the, to the best of your abilities the questions. Madam Chair, with your permission, move to resume house rules to continue with session, Madam Chair. Okay, rules resume. Thank you. Thank you. May we just request this, uh, ano, to the waiter to assist our guests and uh, bring their 